So I did a video from these woods um, actually quite a while ago now, I think it was back in September and it's now mid-November and in that video I was talking about how I was looking forward to autumn coming and um, I think I've had a few conversations with people since then about autumn so I've chatted to a few subscribers and also um, some friends of mine and I think the general consensus is autumn this year has not necessarily been the best autumn um, and it's certainly been running a lot later this year. Uh, than normal but it did come um, it did come eventually and uh, it actually came to these woods here it probably peaked actually a, a week or two ago and actually today you can see a lot of the trees are looking a little bit bare but there's still some leaves clinging to the trees and some beautiful colours um, I've just been waiting for the right conditions really it's always hard with autumn to actually hit the woods at the right time at the right conditions and this wood I think I've I've made it down here probably um, just past its peak. But as I hope you can see, we've got some nice conditions this morning. So I wanted to come back this morning to see if I could get some nice autumnal images. And conditions are good, so I've got some high hopes. So I must admit, normally when I come down here, I prefer to try and avoid taking images with a path in this. And that's just a kind of personal thing for me in my landscape photography. I generally don't like to include, um, I guess, human elements in the landscape. Um, but actually, I, was, I stopped here and I was trying to frame up some nice sort of more intimate shots with a telephoto lens of these um, the trees and branches just up the top there. And I... Whilst I was doing that, I just sort of looked at the path and I thought, you know what, it's actually quite nice and atmospheric having this path um, running through the scene here. So I decided to stop and take a photo of that and, and actually, um, I think on this occasion I can, uh, I can get over my, uh, my dislike of human elements in, in the landscape and actually take a photo of the path in it and I think it works okay. So this again is an example of a shot uh, where I've decided to include that path and I probably need to get over that kind of dislike of including human elements in, in landscapes because it, it can actually sometimes lead to some really nice images and actually um, this is a tree which I've photographed a couple of times before including the last video I made here in the mist but I've never thought to include the path in fact I've always kind of gone out my way to, to cut that path out but actually, as I was walking up here, it's such a characterful tree. And uh, the thing I've never really noticed is that there's another tree just to the, the right-hand side of the path. And it's almost like, I don't know, there's, there's some kind of story going on there. And that, I've talked about this before in my, my woodland videos. If you can kind of try and create a bit of a narrative out of characters in trees, it can lead to nice images because it just means that there's a little, accent, sort of, there's a little added depth in those images. Um, so I've gone for this image here, where I've included the path, but it's got the really kind of characterful old old tree on the left-hand side, and then opposite it, there's this much younger, um, looks like an ash tree from here. And um, yeah, I think this, this, this image actually 
works pretty nicely. But equally, what I'm also going to do out of habit is I'm going to probably zoom in and take some more sort of closer up images uh, with this telephoto lens of that old tree which I photographed before because it's just looking so amazing this morning. Some of you might have noticed that I'm actually recording this video using a new wireless microphone and Hannah and I have been thinking about uh, actually buying a wireless microphone for a little, a little while now. Um, mainly because I talk much louder than Hannah does, so if we're both in a video at the same time quite often I have to turn her volume up and turn my volume down and the other thing which I like to do is actually be able to stand a little bit further away from the camera like this and talk and the microphone that we normally use although it's a really really good quality on camera microphone um, it doesn't let you move away from the camera and so I've been quite keen to try one of these wireless microphones and this one was actually sent to me by a company called Hollyland who I must admit I hadn't heard of before but they sent me this microphone and I had a look at it and I thought you know what that's actually exactly uh, the sort of microphone which Hannah and I are thinking of buying so I agreed to give it a go and actually I've got to say it's such an impressive piece of kit um, it comes in a box which is itself a USB charger so you can put two microphones in that box and charge them up. The kit actually does come with both microphones so it's ideal for Hannah and I. But also it means that you can charge them up if you run out of power when you're out in the field. You can take the box with you, charge it up and you've also got a spare one there if you need it. As this Hollyland setup actually allows you to record two microphones simultaneously and then also control the volume levels of those two microphones which is a really really nice setup. If you are interested uh, I'll pop a link in the description below you can go and check them out on their website and I'll also put an Amazon link as well if you want to go and purchase one of these uh, kits of microphones. So I know this is a scene that I've shot many, many times in videos on this channel before and uh, I feel like I should probably apologise for that but to be honest I don't feel like I should apologise for it because it's actually led to some such nice images in my opinion uh, from these woods and it's one of my favourite woodland scenes to photograph, um, certainly in this wood anyway. And uh, so I'm, I'm photographing it again uh, but it's always just slightly different and this morning conditions are are stunning we've got lovely mist but also in contrast to the last time I photographed this we now have these autumn colours and I know I shot this last year as well in similar conditions but I can't help I just I just can't resist um, photographing it again what I will do though is once I've got that wider shot of this scene uh, which I have uh, shown before I'll try and do some more kind of zoomed in intimate shots of this main big tree here because it's such a characterful tree and that's the thing about this woodland there's just these trees that have real character to them so I like to just sort of show that off a little bit in, in the images and when conditions are like this it can just lead to some such good images of these trees. Okay, so I think I'm gonna call it a day uh, now down here in the woods this morning. Um, I do love having this local location which I can get to when the conditions are right, and conditions were certainly right this morning. I've been waiting for these right conditions to come and photograph uh, the colors in this wood before we lose them. 
um, for the winter. So I'm really pleased I made it down here this morning and I think I've got some images which I'm pleased with. Like I say, I know I've been down here quite a few times and I've got um, images of these same compositions at different times of year. And I think probably what I'm gonna do is put together a little project based on these woods being photographed at different times of the year. Because actually I've been popping down here quite regularly really over the last couple of years. And so far the only thing which I'm missing is an image in the snow. So fingers crossed, we might get some snow uh, over the next couple of months. And if we do, I'll be straight down here to try and complete the collection. And then I can put together a little project of images of these woods. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Do let me know what you think of the images down below in the comments and I'll see you next time.